quickly have you acclimated to to your new program? Uh, pretty pretty uh, quick, honestly. The guys are good here. Um, football is football. I enjoy being in Michigan, so the acclimation didn't take long. Additional folks with questions, go ahead and get your hand up. We'll go to the back first. Jen, the mic makes its way to her. I actually have a question for each of you, if you can answer. Um, let me start with you, Olu. Can you just talk a little bit about the progress of, of where you guys think you are as a unit and what today showed and what you were able to, to do and work on and, and what kind of the emphasis was? Uh, definitely think we're a work in progress. I mean, nobody's going to be a finished product on, on April 2nd. Uh, we got a lot of ball left. We got we to gotta go into training camp. We got the summer cycle. So we're, we're a work in progress, but I mean, we're all, we're all eager to continue to get better. And if I can ask you, Blake, I mean, it's been 92 days, I think, since you guys played in the Orange Bowl. Mm -hmm. You get back out on the field as a team for the first time in competition. Kind of what is the sense of this team? What are the goals? What are the priorities? I know you said last year, the quest for what you did started in spring. How much does that begin again today? You know, uh, like uh, Olu said, you know, it's a work in progress, but um, it felt good to be back. You know, I feel like this team is picking right, picking up right where we left off, honestly. Um, you know, we put in the work in the off season, uh, this whole spring ball, whole camp, as you could say, um, we've been putting in work, you know, we've been stacking those bricks. And so, um, you know, I think where we're at right now, we're in the strongest spot, but like, we have some work to do. Uh, and so, you know, we have one more practice and then we get into workouts and stuff like that. So. Uh, these next couple months are going to be huge, um, but I believe at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, you know, we'll have a, a great product uh, to show everyone. Are the Beat Ohio drills already underway? <laughs> Something like that. All right, we've also got uh, tackle Ryan Hayes up here joining us. We'll go back to the front left, Chris Ballas. Junior, you just talked about the front seven. It's got a different look, but it looks like you guys are still flying around. You just talked about the guys in front of you out there playing. Uh, it's still, like, you know, it's, we got to find new ways to generate pressure, so like everybody's got to buy in. Just play as, as a unit, because last year we had two crazy edge rushers, so we didn't really have to do that much. But now it's like we're playing as like a whole team. Just having to play off each other, really. It's doing really good right now. You kind of feel like a veteran on this team now, even though you've only been here for <laughs> uh, A little bit, a little bit. It's, it's kind of intriguing right now. Uh, standing in the back left, Wojo. Junior, just a follow up to that. You kind of excited to see you had those two guys last year, and now everybody's going to have larger, different, tougher roles. You're excited to see them. Yeah, I'm excited to see like where where we can take this, because like we don't have those guys anymore. So we just got, you know, so a lot of guys just have to step up, you know, just play outside their comfort zone. So it will be exciting to see. Additional questions for these guys uh, standing in the far right, Aaron. Oh, what was it about Michigan that drew you uh, here? Um, that's a great question. Well, Michigan as a university, um, I mean, it stands alone right there, and it stood above like the rest of the options that I had when I entered the transfer portal. And obviously, and obviously the brand of football. Um, no line's coming off a of Joe Moore Award. The team is coming off of uh, making the college football playoffs. And I just like to, I just love the momentum of the program, and I felt like I could add to it. So it was a no-brainer. Uh, to the back right, Zach. Uh, Ryan, what's what after seeing the spring practice? What does Olu bring to this offense? He just brings a lot of experience, you know. He learned his stuff in the season before the spring ball started, so he already knows all the calls. He fits right in. He's going to elevate this line to, I think, we can even be even better than last year, I think. Mm -hmm. Over to the left here, Austin. Brian, what have you seen this spring from some of the younger tackles? We saw Jeffrey out there, Tristan out there. They would, where have you seen them grow? Yeah, they've all matured. They've all put uh, muscle on in the weight room this offseason. Tristan and Percy are just every day you can see them climbing from spring ball one practice to now. They've gotten a lot better, so it's a good uh, future of the tackle is a good hit.